we've seen a situation where the party members of the UPND have been assigned public service jobs without them having to relinquish their portfolios. And we are not on forum shopping here, comrades. We are talking about facts. And these are facts that we can prove beyond any possible conceivable doubt. I will give you a few examples where this government has picked individuals from their political parties without them even relinquishing their position, they have gone ahead to accept the public service appointments. The first one, I want you to take notice as an example, is Comrade Levin Goma, the political advisor to the president, who even now as we speak is still chairperson for agriculture as in the National Management Committee of the UPND. We've got Comrade Patrick Mucheleka, who is PS Special Duties. As we speak, he is still the Deputy Secretary General of the UPND. We've got Comrade Nduma, 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 who is the Deputy Chairperson for Local Government Service Commission, who at the same time is Vice Chairperson Elections under UPND. What is even surprising, comrades, is the fact that even individuals with dual citizenship have been given appointments in the diplomatic corps. Comrades such as Elias Musha is now been appointed into the diplomatic function. Tell me, where is this allegiance? Is it in Zambia or Canada? I leave it for the Zambian people. To decide are you telling me that this country is show, is in short supply of young people that can take up some of these positions i personally come from material constituents and i'm alive to the fact that in material comrades the upnd had a candidate in the name of tom mitchell and this is a guy that got 48 thousand votes or more for the president Today, some of these people are languishing in the streets. Are they not better placed to be given some of these assignments other than giving to these individuals with dual citizenship who don't even stay in this country? Other than this gentleman, there are many other young people, even within their, their UPND, who voted and worked for the president. But why is it that they have been left out only to appoint senior comrades in the name of Panjika Wunda, the senior youth, leaving out the real young men who had participated in the agenda of having to bring to Asha uh, in a new government. What long thing have the ordinary young people of our country done that they, don't deserve, that they have not been looked at kindly? Colleagues, we also have uh, Mrs. Kawiko, who is a commissioner in the, in the, in, in the police service. Mrs. Kawiko, she's still a member of the National Management Committee and yet serving as a commissioner under the Zambia, uh, 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 under, uh, under, under the Zambia Police Service. Is it possible that these disappointments we saw or the firing of police officers recently could they be could they could therefore be attributed to some of the uh, UPND members who are serving at a very high level? Is it possible? of a political class now who will have to fear for our lives because every time we are, we are taken to the to police we are not sure whether the police will have to work independently without any form of interference from their senior leaders who have been deliberately deployed in those positions what is the having an active party position we do not want to see a public service which is politicized. The president 
promised the Zambian people that is going to depoliticize, to depoliticize the public service. But what is it that has changed? What has gone wrong? Why is it that we have more people with active party position serving in our public service? And this is a public service which you expect to serve the Zambian people to, their, to, to the best of their interest. Is it possible that such a public service would, would give the Zambian people the very best? And the answer is no. We want to call upon the, His Excellency the President to take up a deliberate move to depoliticize the public service. Colleagues, as that is not enough, our current Lusaka District Commissioner is a current Lusaka Provincial Chair Lady. We are talking about facts. The, pro, the current District Commissioner for Lusaka is still the Provincial Chair Lady for Lusaka. Mama Rosa Zuru, in case you want us to help you with the details, Mama Rosa Zuru, the District Commissioner for Lusaka, is the Provincial Chair Lady. If these people want to save, we have, no, we have nothing against all these uh, appointees. But if they want to save in our public service, let them relinquish their political offices. Because the last time I checked, all those who are involved in active politics are not expected to save in our public service. Doing so is a violation of the laws of our land. And the president uh, may sought to protect our constitution. So why is it that he has allowed this violation of our constitution within the tenure of his office? When he not too long ago he was swearing to protect our constitution. Colleagues, the district commissioner for Siavonga. Mr. Chikani is a Lusaka Provincial Secretary. We are not even sure whether the political space in Nwangwa will be free and fair. Because the district commissioner is an active politician. And then we, we should expect an environment which will assure all stakeholders a free and fair election.